heartburn. news continues to trickle out of Edward Snowden's tightly sprung bung of secrets. We're learning the private sector is as sick of spying as you are. A list of tech companies including Facebook, Google, Twitter, AOL. Are they still in business? Is that real? Oh my gosh, they are. That's amazing. <laughs> they unleashed a statement saying, enough's enough, calling for transparency. Have the winds of hope and change blown into an iron curtain? They are not happy with the president at all. Now, Camille, what is the significance of this letter from these great eight tech companies who have a market valuation of $1.4 trillion between them? That is a lot of money, uh, and it's actually a huge deal. I mean, what we're really talking about here is the future of the Internet. Will it be a tool for expanding freedom, or will it be used to curtail freedom? Uh, obviously, if the federal government had their way, they would be doing exactly that, using the Internet to do all sorts of spying. These companies recognize that it's not just about what's right in general and in principle. It's also about what's right for their bottom line. They make their nut being able to convince people that they can store their data safely and that they don't have to worry about it being uh, pried into uh, by, by federal investigators for any particular purpose, uh, and I think this is a fantastic thing. One of the things that they're really peed off about is that the federal government I asked... love that you kept it clean. Thanks yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that uh, is that the government has been demanding records from them in some cases like in AT&T they install someone at the NSA mm -hmm. in the switching room but they haven't been able to tell their own customers oh yeah sorry by the way we're sharing all of your data with the government so they want transparency from the administration to say okay can we at least tell our own customers yeah. who are also what you're off? asking for right. And yeah. what we're giving you, because so far that has not been a transparent relationship. We don't even know how often they're asking for these things, which is which is insane. No, and, and Basil, well, well, this was supposed to be the most transparent president since the invention of Glad Wrap. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, these companies. Yeah. I, I wonder if these companies are complicit in this. Well, I have to think to some extent they are. I mean, look how long it took for them to actually tell us that these their records were being uh, were, were being solicited from the government. So having said that, I think you're absolutely right. Their bottom line is really what matters to them here. They're concerned about the chilling effect and that uh, folks aren't going to want to go on Facebook and put certain pictures and things like that up there. My guess is that the majority of folks that are using these platforms aren't on a day-to-day -day basis really going to care that much but I think you're also, you're also right the as more questions get raised about transparency and yes even the president in this um, as more questions get raised about transparency I think the the the, the piling on effect uh, is going to be something that is going to eventually hurt their bottom line I think people on a daily basis do care though I know I know a lot of people who are terrified now to go onto these sites out of fear that their personal information is going to be picked up by by who knows whom so I think that the companies are smart to recognize that fear and to say people are nervous people are scared we have to at least seem like we're very concerned about this and try to hold the administration which as you said vowed they were going to be the most transparent administration in history accountable in some way to do something about it to take some kind of action that can guarantee that people's privacy and, is protected and you, you really and and one of the complaints that uh, these companies have is, you know, or that, that we should have in the relationship between high tech companies and the government is they are stored on centralized servers. I mean, granted, these are private companies, but it's much easier for the government to gather bulk data right. from these servers where they store so much information. I wonder if this is going to become a Republican issue at some point, mm -hmm. where Republicans proactively say, hey, Internet freedom, privacy, this is something that we can beat Democrats with. You see a little bit of it with Justin Amash. He makes it a bipartisan uh, uh, deals with uh, Ron Wyden and some other people. Rand Paul has talked about mm -hmm. this. But this is in play for 2016, and I'm yeah. not sure if Hillary yeah. Clinton is going to be worth a tinker's dam about it. Oh, uh, well, no, I think she's going to care about it. But I do think Is she going to for... be the high-tech president? Yeah, you know, <laughs> really she's going to be. But, um... Finally build that bridge. The 21st century. <laughs> but I, actually, I do think I, I think the liberal wing of the Democratic Party cares about this also. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I do think it's the one issue that unites sort of both extremes, if you will, uh, of, of both parties. Uh, but I do think on this issue and similar issues, whether Hillary runs or not, there is going to be somebody that comes from the far left that's going to attack on issues, uh, including like this. Bernie Sanders. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. no, what, I mean, between the two of them, they're like my grandparents. Like, you catch with your computers. <laughs> get you. The internet. We wouldn't be talking about this though if it wasn't for Edward Snowden, and that should be noted. Uh, we certainly don't have the president to thank for the reason we're talking about transparency right mm -hmm. now. Yeah, and so I think, you're going to thank I think, Edward Snowden? Uh, thank you, Edward Snowden. Okay. Wherever yeah. you are, sir. <laughs>
I think, Matt, you're right. If, if someone like Rand Paul were to step up to the plate and run for president, I think issues like this that he has made a priority will be key. I think if that libertarian wing of the Republican Party, which is growing and getting stronger, is the direction that the party's going in, I happen to think it is, but I think if you get a candidate that emerges from that, I think the right will become a champion of this issue, and I think that the left will have sort of a problem. All right, is Jedediah going to be singing We Are the Champions? <laughs> yes. Right here and find Absolutely. Out. <laughs> Remember when the most impressive thing you pulled out of your printer was a naked picture of your volleyball coach congress wants to limit your ability to control your weaponry all right spike stay with us it's the independent